What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in the Midlands, out in the countryside and we're here to check out this amazing abandoned house. I think it's been left about three or four decades. I'm here with Matt from Urbex NW and we're gonna get straight in there, hopefully pick up some vibes and uh, check the place out. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores. And we're gonna get in there, aren't we lad? Yeah. It's very hot today guys, it's very hot. <laughs> Okay explorers, so we're just outside the back door now. We are about to head inside. This place is absolutely massive, three stories. Um, it feels like two houses when you're in there. I have been around taking pictures for Instagram. Um, it is very vibey, it's a bit creepy. Definitely worth an investigation whilst we're here. But we're gonna head inside now and check it out. Matt's still in here. So uh, it is such a weird layout as well. Look at this, as soon as you walk in, you've got these, um, sewing machines and like I'm not really sure what this is by like orders or something but look at that I'm trying to find a date or something can't really see anything there but things costing like one pound you can see there I think the dates are like early 90s that this was abandoned this diary is from 1977 look at that but check this old sewing machine, made in Spain it says on it. See the cobwebs along the top. Big old unit here, quite retro. Ooh, I'm not sure what they are. Ooh, that's vile. What is that? I'm not sure guys, if you let me know in the comments. Old style tumble dryer there. Just bits and bobs lay about. But it is a weird place, I'm not going to lie. It is definite vibes. Head over to this door here. This leads onto the rest of the house, but this is locked. So we have to head upstairs, then back down. But yeah, hopefully you're picking up on the atmosphere here. It is weird. It's very wrong turn like. Big old house in the middle of nowhere in the countryside. So we're going to head up these stairs now to see the rest of the house. The stairs are sketchy as anything. But look at this, three storeys. Goes right the way up to the top there. You can feel the steps bowing as you're walking up them, so it's a bit dodgy like. A bit sketchy. But look at the age of the stuff in here. Got burlap sacks over there on the wall. All old tools in here. They are proper old as well. See all the cobwebs and debris coming down. See all the overgrowth outside. But we're not gonna spend too much time in here because it does just look like storage, I suppose. We are gonna try and get straight into the house. So you have to go up a few more steps and then into a bedroom. Like I said, you have to go up to come down. Place has seen better days as you can tell, but Nice paint peel on the walls. All the old furniture still here. The old chairs. I wouldn't really say this was a wealthy family that lived here. Proper, it seems working class. See his ties and stuff still in the cut in the drawer there. Clothes still hung up in this wardrobe. It's so strange does look like it's been ransacked but like I said with the clothes still hanging in the wardrobes and stuff like that it's a bit weird let's go see what's over there 
in this little cupboard. Ooh, spiders. Ugh, something's just gone across my face. My webs everywhere. Can't go anywhere for webs these days. But, um, broken windows as you can see. Right, let's push forward. Like I said, it's a nice big house. We are gonna check it all out and then do our little investigations. Check this bedroom out. Double bed still here. The nice old furniture. Dresser here. Not bad condition. Newspaper 1973 guys. 1973. A washing machine back then cost £85 and £16 for a tumble dryer. <laughs> Look at this. 14 inch TV, £67. £64, sorry. Isn't that crazy? I love just looking at all the old stuff. Look at this. Colour TV, £14. <laughs> oh, it's like a pay monthly, £7.50. For a 25 inch TV. But check this bedroom out. There's a little doll in the bed here. A little blue face. Look at this. What are you up to? She looks a bit sus. Looks like she's seen some things. But there is little toys. Dotted around the house. Just saying it is. Like vibes in here. Wardrobes that have definitely. Fell apart there. But you can see out onto all the land there. Look at that. Beautiful views. Nice big house. So I wonder whose bedroom this. I'm guessing it would have been adult's room. Or the paint peel. Look at the ceiling coming down too. Laughing plaster there. And a jacket still hung on the door. Definitely, yeah, I'd say an adult's room. Even though there is a few dolls, they could have just been put here at any time. I doubt. I doubt it. Not even any light bulbs, so that was pointless. And check this out, look, a two-way door. So it closes into there, and then closes into there. I love stuff like that. Into the bathroom. Ooh, carpet in the bathroom, they're brave. But look at this, the old sinks. Medicine cabinet been emptied out. Green bath. Still a towel hung up, like what the, what's going on? Nice little seating thing here. All the uh, washing still in there. Broken mirrors, so you can see people have been in and vandalized. But I love this door. <laughs> Closes into the, all this wood paneling around the rooms. But then you go back down into the other side of that door that I was talking about before that's locked. Separate water closet. Old style toilet there. But look at this wardrobe wallpaper as well. I don't know what I was trying to say there. But then you come into this room, a little single bed over in the corner. All tools here. It's like living room furniture up here too. There's flies everywhere, so I hope something's not dead in here. Ugh, horrible. Proper old school heater there. But there's like um, trinket cabinets. Little writing desk. I'm going to try and push past all this stuff in on here. Ugh. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a second single bed there. But I'm thinking, is this like storage maybe? The old bed here. French flag across the bed. Oh, that's French now I've said it. I'm pretty sure it is. I doubt myself sometimes because the uh, comments are pretty harsh. Another old school heater there. But it's nice big rooms. Like I say, it looks like it's been used for storage more than anything. So I'm guessing it was just like a, an elderly couple maybe that lived here, ran the farm until they passed away that's what it seems like everything is quite retro and things like that so we're going to head down onto the other side of the house now just it's huge it's absolutely massive 
as you're coming down you can see the TV in the corner old tube back TV back door has been kicked in there but there is like a charm to these old farmhouses I find oh it's warm in here like there's proper character in these places like I do like the big mansions and that but these just feel more personal I suppose just trying to what's going on here bomb damage at Buckingham Palace hmm what? 1978? I didn't know a bomb went off. You See, I'm learning. I'm learning as I'm going. Queen of Mums, there you go. But these look like royalists. Look at this. 50p for a little newspaper about the Queen's Mum. All just pictures there. A bit dodgy. Um, yeah. Fireplace has been ripped out there. You can see it has been used for storage. Quite a few of the rooms. I can hear tapping in here, I'm hoping it's Matt. Old bed pans. Look at this guys. Oh we've got some trinkets here. Surgical spirit. Not to be taken. Well, why would you have it if it's not to be taken? There's still stuff in there. Look at this, petroleum jelly. I just think of lube when I see stuff like that. Look at that for pissing in as well. Old razor. But you can see how old the Coke cans are as well guys, that gives it an age as well. There is more Coke cans up there too. Matt? Hello. You're in there? You're there? I've just did. I thought you were in here. Yeah, it goes all the way on. Oh. <laughs> scared me then. I thought there was, thought there was bloody somebody in here. No, if you go all the way around it, you go like, there's a whole lot around the house. All oh, right, okay. Right. I just went then when I seen him there. Another old dusty room. Oh, some books on here. Look at this, guys. What books have we got? Lord Rango, with a spider crawling all over it. Lord Oakburn's Daughters. Hmm. The Grey Room. So you can see there's quite a few books left here. A few bits lying on the top. Ooh, spiders in that box. What do you think so far, Matt? You enjoying it? It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? A bit trash like. Yeah, mad, mad layout as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Look at the damage as well here. Just see completely outside there. Oh. oh! Big hole in the floor here, Matt. Is it going down to the next room? I don't know where it's going down to. But I nearly fell down it myself. Oh, look at this, guys. All the ivy coming in through the windows there. Curtains still hanging. Cheeky old retro lampshade. The old sofa, this is like a proper chill room. All little trinkets in here, little cups and glasses. Look at this. Can't wait to get the K2 out and check this place. Singer sewing machine box there. Is that a cellar I spot as well? Yes, we will head down there. We will definitely check out the cellar. Just going to make sure we do a full sweep of this floor first. Just to make sure we don't miss anything cool. All right, see, we are back near the bottom of the stairs in the next room. And it does look like an old living room here. Living room here. Living room here. Just here tapping on the glass. Oof. Not sure what that is, but we'll push forward. Yeah, old living room. Nice fireplace there, quite retro. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'm not sure what that is, but it looks quite cool. But you see proper retro furniture, the folding tables that your nan and granddad used to have. 
big leather chair and then we've got all china and plates in the cupboards here it's pretty cool whoa it's nearly went flying like you see there's a lot of debris on the floor and stuff like that so i think this is the last room on this floor and then we're gonna i think head down to the basement and then head up to the top floor and look at this old old fridge there's a razor in there but that's pretty much it not too much like i said it has been cleared out but they do have character these old places oh my days look at this fridge oh look at the size of that rest cold what oh you can see clothes hung up at the top there What have we got in here? Not sure what that is. But yeah, some sort of like workshop. Yeah, some sort of workshop. And then there's the door that's locked from before when we first came in. All right guys, just heading into the kitchen now. Look at this, all the blue, like old style TVs. Look at this guys. How amazing is that? Proper old TV there. Wow. Yeah, let we go. There we go. Lots of love, best wishes from Frank and Ro. Oh, look, the old syringe there as well. Check that out. And then, ooh, what's that? Cremolia, cremolia. hands softens hands and skin. Ooh, two pence. I wish stuff was two pence now. Ah, oh, look at that more lube right, for. Uh, there you go. I'm not, I don't even know what I was going to say about that then. Just more loop. Old, old units. The utensils still up on the wall there. It is so cool seeing some of this old stuff. The old gas lantern. An Arga cooker, which we absolutely adore. I need to get one of them one day. And then a more modern but still retro cooker there as well. But it is so cool to see these old farmhouses, like I was saying. 1997 on the calendar. Obviously, they've just been given a deep fat fryer for the first time. Instruction manual. Ooh. So cool. A few plates left inside there. Jackets on the floor. Armchair there for resting. And then just like an old iron. But I love this old TV. Check that out absolutely stunning clock still there as well amazing isn't it guys just proper frozen in time i know it's uh seen better days but it's just so much character in these old buildings i absolutely love it but we're gonna have to push forward because it's a nice big house so let's go so i'm thinking let's have a little look in the basement and then we'll head up to the attic and then get the k2 out and just have a little sweep of the house see if we pick anything up right so going down to the basement usually in these old places this is where they keep food and like alcohol yeah, there you go you can see the bottles there so there would have been a storage cupboard which has fell away there but the basement is flooded guys it is flooded look at this um So that's no good because there is loads of stuff under the water you can see and then it goes off into there which looks like it would have had all the shelving and everything for storing food so i'm guessing a lot of that in under the water is all tins and stuff like that jars it is very low ceilings and being six foot three gives me a bad back so we'll head up so let's go and check out the attic i think probably the best thing to do now top floor see what we can find up there anything interesting okay guys we are back on the broken stairs you can see the damage and it actually does stink so we're gonna head up hopefully not fall through and die oh my these stairs are so dodgy I'm crawling up them oh cool look at the old pictures over there 
Please don't fall through the floor, Adam. Oh, there's loads of stuff up here. The old ironing boards, old furniture. I definitely want to get over there and look at those pictures. Check these out, guys. Old Victorian photographs. Look, looking as stern as ever as they do. Check her out. Wow. And what are all these? This is that songbooks. Looks like, yep, songbooks there. More songbooks. I wonder if there was a piano back here then. Back in the day. Just looking for a date now. Um, 1954. Wow. So these are all like bills. But check that mirror as well. Bit of scribing going on in here. But look at her. Looks like Miss Trunchbull. She looks so angry. But you can see jars all dotting about. Oh. Hymns. In these frames, more songbooks. More bills. Oh, there's a secret room there as well. And a pool table, guys. Right, how do we get over there, right? We have to go around. Oh, this is creepy up here, guys. I'm not going to lie. Oh, thank. It's just a little cupboard. I was hoping it wasn't a secret room. We've got an old pool table. See the pockets there? Oh, I'm sweating up here. It's warm. And the, the fella's shoes, look. All just in these boxes, all shoes. Oh, it's quite big up here as well, isn't it? Oh, it looks like they're definitely using it for storage, but there is some cool stuff up here. Look at this old Victorian parrot cage. That's nice. See like bed frames, more furniture. Old photographs. This is what we love, guys. What are these guys up to? They look like they're going hunting, I think, it looks like. Not really sure. You have to let me know, guys. Looks like hunting to me. Look like the fella, dressed like the fella off Jumanji. But look at all the stuff just left up here, just rotting away. All paperwork. Like I was saying, bed frames. I'm not sure what this is over my head. Oh, there's cobweb on my hand. But we do love finding old photographs and things like that. Oh, just making sure this floor's safe. This is a bit of a weird room, guys. There's like all fake grass up here. Christmas decorations. Oh, this floor just, it's proper caving in. If you can see that, that's bowed with the floor. So I'm not going to walk over there because I'll land on Matt's head. Uh, there's an old till there, though. What a strange room. It is vibey up here, though. The whole house is. The whole house is creepy as guys, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully it's coming across. Um, so we are just gonna go around with the K2 now, just check it out, see if anything uh, comes up on there. And if it does, we'll use the Necrophonic. But it's so warm up here. So yes guys, let's do this. Okay guys, so we do have the K2 ready. We are just gonna have a quick sweep of the house, see if we pick anything up. Fingers crossed we do. It does have vibes in this place, I'm not gonna lie. It does have a creepy atmosphere. Fingers crossed it is something here and not just because it's an old farmhouse. But um, yeah, hopefully we'll pick something up. So let's begin. Here we go guys. So we're just gonna begin in this old living room now. If there's any spirits in this house, you wanna come forward, come towards me and the device in my hand. Oh. Hey Matt. Picking something up in this living room. Yeah. Come check this out. It was going all the way up to orange, look, all the way up to red, look. Straight away. Mod. Cool. There's nothing in there, in here, is there, to like set it off? No, there's no electric. I've tried the lights and stuff like that. Look at that, though. 
only in this spot. So, we go back. Do you want to come towards a device in my hand? <laughs> as I said it, as I said it. How cool is that though? Yeah, it's smart. I'll have to check this room out later with a uh, necrophonic or something. Matt does the old paranormal as well there. On his channel, Urbex NW, go check it out. That's mad in that living room, how it's just when I said, come towards me. Is there any spirits in this room? Do you want to come towards? Oh. Is that because I was moving? Is there any spirits in this room? Do you want to come towards me? Mate, mate. As I said it, it just went straight up to red. It went straight up to red, just as I said it. It does have a weird feeling in it. It does. No, it's gone now. Do you want to come towards me? Reach out and touch the device in my hand? That was so weird. wonder if I spooked it, How weird is that? Just try to move away and see what happens. Yeah. Wait, well, it's, it's still going off, mate. There's nothing in here. No electric in here whatsoever. Try a couple more rooms. I'm thinking maybe the bedroom, you know. Because there's quite a lot of like personal possessions in there. So maybe if we head up to the bedroom. Oh, look at the cobwebs going up these stairs though, Matt. Vile, isn't it? This in shot just in case, but there's nothing doing now. Absolutely n oh Going off going off It's all kicking off Quite a good response on this though yeah. Like I've been to a few places and you just don't get anything Look at that Put it on the bed Look at that mate Not even near it Is there any spirits in here? Do you want to come towards the bed? The device on the bed will change colours. Stop now. <laughs> of course it has. Oh, there you go. Strange, there's a mad belt on there, isn't there? Yeah, see if I was doing anything. Well, it's leather, mate. It's not going to change, is it? Oh, there's a metal belt on it, isn't there? There's a metal buckle on there. Yeah. Any spirits in here? Do you want to come towards Matt, touch him? <laughs> <laughs> or come sit on the bed, let us know that you're here. That doll's creepy, isn't she? I was just about to say, that's not creepy at all, is it? <laughs> <laughs> is this your doll that's on the bed? You want to go lie next to her? It's flickering, look. Yeah. Flickers, lad. I'm boiling, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so warm. <laughs> So it is getting stuff in pretty much every room. There you go. You enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me just try this one more room because there's definitely something going on in here, isn't there? Straight away. Like, I have been in quite a few places with this K2 and you just get absolutely nothing. But it seems to be quite a lot in this house. Like there is a lot of personal items left. That may affect it. What's going on? I was looking at you then as well. Every single room we've been in. How crazy is that? A lot of flies as well. I don't even have to say anything, it's just going off. I think that's plenty that. So uh, warrant a little necrophonic. Do you want to get it up on my phone or do you want to do it on yours? I'll do it on mine. Right guys, gonna head down to the living room. There's a necrophonic in there. Results in every room on the K2, which is very unusual. Usually you'd only get it spike in a couple of rooms or nothing at all, but to get it in every single room. Someone's definitely following us around in this house. But if 
fair play to them. We like it. So we're going to set this necrophonic up now, guys. Right, guys, got the necrophonic set up. Going to keep the K2 going just in case. Um, hopefully we'll get some in. It's flickering now. Do you want to hold that? Yeah. Right, here we go, guys. Necrophonic sash. Thanks. Is there any spirits in this house you want to communicate with us? Go to Redmond. Always a red, though. Straight to red. Can you tell us how many spirits are in this house? That's like ten. Something like that, wasn't it? I swear it's a ten, yeah. That's going crazy, mate. <laughs> it's going right the way up to red. Is that you setting the device off that Matt's holding? Mate, it's been all the way to town. Like, yes, then. Yeah, straight after. Can you tell us if you're male or female? That's two women's voices. Can you tell us if you passed away in this house? No. Yeah, no. Can you tell us how you passed away? Still going on. Still going on. Still going on. It's quite strong as well. Yeah. So, is there a female in this house? I heard your voice a second ago. Don't know what that was, man. <laughs> no, I don't know. It didn't sound happy, <laughs> did it? Can you tell us if you're a positive or negative energy? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Sounds like someone walking. A bird catching a bug. <laughs> catching a frog. A bug. Yeah. Oh my days. That was scary. Yeah, that was. It sounded like someone was in that room, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right. This has gone off now as well. It's still going. Is it still going? Yeah. It is. Right, can you let us know how many people are in this house with us right now? numbers there. Definitely. I'm not sure. Some sort of sound like a kid. <laughs> Can you tell us how you passed away? Smash it sounded like that. Do you mind us being in your house? Do you mind us being in here? That's a pardon. Did, didn't it? Yeah. So it sounded like the woman said leave and the man said pardon. I like didn't just sit in here. Stranger. Shall we? Does then? That's it. Can you tell us if you're in the room with us right now? K2 stopped. Was it? Yeah. Do you want us to leave the house or do you mind us being in here? We don't mean to do any harm or anything, we're just looking round. It's quite a few voices, isn't there? Yeah. When you've used this, do you find it quite. Do you find it good, like it works? Yeah, well, it's a, yeah, I know it depends. Like, sometimes I've got, like, really good responses and then other times it's just, like... Yeah. Nothing, but... Yeah, you get some relevant ones. Yeah, yeah. Is there any message you'd like to give us? Or anything you'd like to pass on? That was, like, music, man. Mm. 
so strange yesterday, isn't it? It's not really like this before. Got to try on my phone and see if it says any different. Yeah. Just to get see if it gives different. like, uh, but if it gives the same responses, then. Right, just going to try it on Matt's phone, just just to try something different, really, and see if you get anything the same or. Is there any spirits in this house? Let's see if we get the same voices. It's similar voices. Your thing, that's going mad, mate. Is it? It's all the way up to red. Like this thing. Human. <laughs> Can you tell us if it's you that stood near Matt right now? No. Does that mean he is though? Or he's just playing a mind game? Lying to us. Are you the person that lived in this house? I don't know what that was. I didn't like it though. No. Are you. Is the person that lived in this house here now? It goes crazy, don't like as low as people are. Yeah, it's like they're all trying to talk at once. Can you try and talk one at a time and tell us if the person that lived here is with us now? They're all kind of cool. Yeah. If you like us to leave, do you want to make a bang or something clear? Hello. That was well clear, though. Yeah. I'd love to just sort of just slam or something right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. If you'd like us to go, say leave or go. Can you say leave or go into the device? It's very active, isn't it? But that is as well. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Right, probably leave out there now. There you go. So we've used two different ones and we've got similar answers. Right, guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Seems like loads of activity to me, that. Uh, K2's gone absolutely crazy. It has got vibes in this house. It is a massive house as well. Left in what we think is the early 90s, but the stuff dating back decades. Amazing place, lots of character, exactly what we like, and it does seem like something's still here. So, um, yeah, good good investigation, Matt. Happy? Yeah, it's good, man. Yeah, I'm happy this too. This is stopped now as well. Has it stopped? It's still going a little still bit. Going. It completely stopped them when you went in there. Following me. I'm sure I've got someone following me. Dang. Right, guys, we're going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, and notifications for future explores. We are on to the next one. So we'll see you there, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching.